Answer this simple six question test if you think you have ADHD. This test is the updated adult ADHD screening tool, the ASRS-5. This test has the ability to correctly identify about 91.4% of adults with ADHD. But remember folks, although this test, this screener is effective at picking up ADHD in adults, it cannot rule out other medical conditions that may impact these results. I also spoke to a qualified professional who gave me some really useful commentary when answering these questions. Consider my commentary before answering the questions. As adults, we may have consciously or unconsciously put coping mechanisms and masks in place to help us cope with many of the issues that these questions bring up. My biggest advice is to answer these questions as if these masks and strategies were not in place. I'll put each question on the screen together with the five choices. Pause the video at any time if you need time to think or discuss. And don't worry if you don't have a pencil, I'm gonna put everything on the screen at the end of all of this so you can pause if you need time. Question number one. How often do you have difficulty concentrating on what people are saying to you even when they are speaking to you directly? Answer with never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. Think about normal everyday conversations, not so much the ones that are about topics or interests that really engage you. Also think about the environment one-on-one -on -one conversations in environments which have got very little external stimuli or distractions is totally different from, say, a restaurant or a bar or a cafe. Question number two. How often do you leave your seat in meetings or other situations in which you are expected to remain seated? Answer with never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. As one viewer commented, this question is pretty binary. For instance, it doesn't take into account people who use wheelchairs. It also doesn't stress the word expected. Consider situations or the avoidance of situations where you wouldn't be engaged. A boring movie, a lecture, or even a simple meal. Think about whether you have made any changes that actively allow you to avoid these sorts of situations. Also, consider whether you have the urge, the impulse to move around and is simply just suppressing it. Question number three. How often do you have difficulty unwinding and relaxing when you have time to yourself? Answer with never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. This assumes that we know what normal relaxing and unwinding feels like, or that we actually have time to do this mythical thing. Do you always feel like you have to be doing something? Do you feel guilt or start worrying the moment you sit down? Does your brain go into overdrive the moment you get into bed? Question number four. When you're in a conversation, how often do you find yourself finishing the sentences of the people you are talking to before they can finish them themselves? Answer with never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. Consider this. Most of the people I know with ADHD, myself included, don't do this. What we do do is bottle up this urge and then spend all of our focus and mental energy trying to stop ourselves from blurting it out and focus on retaining what it is we're wanting to say at the cost of not hearing the rest of the conversation. You may feel impatient for this other person to finish what they're saying because you've already anticipated it. Question number five. How often do you put things off until the last minute? Answer with never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. Some points to consider here. Are you always late or rushing to catch up? Do you find yourself procrastinating even though you know something has to get done? And only taking action when the deadline becomes imminent and is staring us in the face? Do you put off paperwork or paying bills, even when you have the money to pay for these things? And finally, question number six. 
How often do you depend on others to keep your life in order and attend to details? Answer with never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. This one is pretty difficult on the face of it. Now, we can muddle and crash through life just fine by ourselves, can't we? Here are some things to consider to open this question up a little bit. Do you just simply avoid the things that would help keep your life and finances in balance? Do you only take action when the bills become red letters or bury your head even further in the sand? Maybe you love seeing friends and family, but let the others be the ones to organise events and get-togethers. Maybe even the simple task of returning something to the shop or posting a letter or writing that card that you bought last week. It just simply doesn't get done. You can now score your answers. So for every question that you answered with never, give yourselves a zero. For each question that you answered with rarely, give yourselves one point. For each question that you answered with sometimes, give yourselves two points. For each question that you answered with often, give yourselves three points. And for each question that you answered with very often, give yourselves four points. Now add up your score and pause the video if you need a little more time before we continue. Don't forget though folks to hit me up with some of that sweet, sweet dopamine by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment as well as to how you scored and what you found difficult about these questions. So your results are in, how did you score? Well, the threshold score for this test is 14 points. This means that if you scored 14 or more, the screener reveals you likely have ADHD and further investigation is required. If you scored 13 or less, you likely don't have ADHD. But remember folks, although this test, this screener is effective at picking up ADHD in adults, it cannot rule out other medical conditions that may impact these results. And it certainly doesn't replace a diagnostic assessment by a trained clinician. There's a link in the description below to the online version of this test, together with references and sources, the old ASRS V1.1 test and further reading. Let me know what you'd like me to cover in future videos, but for now, take care.